Hello, Knights fans, and welcome to another edition of the FDU Men's Soccer Report. I am, as always, joined by the head of the FDU Men's Soccer Program, Seth Rowland. Seth, your team just opened up NEC Conference play with two home matches this weekend, first against St. Francis, then against Robert Morris on Sunday afternoon. Teams split the, split the contests, including a thrilling 3-2 victory on Sunday against Robert Morris in overtime, golden goal style. Run us through this weekend, what it means for your team, what you saw from your team, how they responded to the out-of-conference slate, and what that means for them moving forward with the victory, the three points on Sunday. Um, well, Friday night against St. Francis, the thir first 30 minutes of the game, we were awful. Um, and I was watching uh, an FDU team that uh, uh, was very disappointing and, and uh, that struggled badly. Uh, we made a couple of adjustments, and for the rest of the game, for the next uh, 60 minutes, we competed very, very well. We tied the game. We were continuing to outplay St. Francis, and against the run of play, uh, allowed a soft goal. Um, the disturbing part of it was that we ended up losing the game when we had taken control and were playing well. The positive side is that we were playing some of our best soccer of the season. Um, going into Sunday's game, uh, we continued our disturbing propensity for allowing early goals and soft goals, and we allowed Nico Brett to put Robert Morris in the lead 1-0. Um, that was uh, discouraging, to say the least, and I felt the first half uh, we did not play well and we did not play with passion. After halftime, we elevated our game. We played with much greater focus and determination. We tied the game. Uh, we then took the lead and, and should have been able to manage it to a 2-1 victory after 90 minutes. However, um, again, we, uh, we allowed a goal that we should not have. Robert Morris tied us with just a couple minutes left, and we headed into overtime. To our guys' credit, uh, we rallied, we showed a good mental toughness, and Sam Durkot uh, scored the game winner off a great free kick. Um, when earlier in the game, Godfred Baffey, who, who, who was tremendous the entire game, uh, gave 110%. Uh, really set the bar high uh, for the kind of effort that our team should be giving every minute of every game. He ended up scoring our second goal, which is maybe the best goal I've seen in my 18 years here at FDU. So we came out of the weekend with three points, um, and we head into Central Connecticut this coming Saturday uh, in what is, of course, a big game, as all conference games are. We hope we can uh, build from the positives and, and diminish the amount of times that, uh, that we uh, are not competing in a focused manner. And, and we have been, we have scored seven goals in the last three games, and that's a positive. Uh, we've shown we can compete uh, competitively, we can compete hard and in a determined manner uh, for long stretches of a game. But we need to, we must put together a complete performance from opening whistle to closing whistle. Thank you, Thank you Coach. And um, a couple things real quick. We will have Godfrey Boffey after you scored that goal uh, on in later par portion of this men's soccer report, so stick around for that one. Also, check out the highlights. They're on the FDUnights.com website, also the Northeast Conference website. They'll have the top five plays of the week, and almost assuredly you'll see Boffy's goal. You probably will see Durkot's game winner. Um, so now, Coach, going back to this past week, and you talk about these positives. Tell me more about the positives. Tell me more about what you've seen that you like. You said that they're playing some of the best soccer this, this season so far this past weekend. What do you think's been key? What do you think? What do you What do you see 
that can continue as conference play goes on that's been such a strength? Well, our challenge is to have more individuals play up to their potential. Buffy played up to his potential this weekend. Uh, Sam Durkot competed hard and then stepped up and scored the game winner. Um, Christian Dietrich on Friday night played very well, um, but needs to be able to duplicate that uh, and replicate that each and every game. Um, Itai Erez uh, played reasonably well in both games, but we feel uh, he can play at even a higher level and a more consistent level. Nico Wright, uh, Nico um, remains a bit of a mystery in that he can be an extremely dominant striker and a handful for any opposing team to have to corral, and yet he uh, remains uh, unpredictable in that manner. Um, the, uh, Deshaun Forbes has generally been a solid and consistent performer. Um, we need our back four, who has made progress and has been improving. We need them to be performing at a higher level consistently. Um, we simply need to have more players play up to their potential. And I talk about this upcoming weekend. Just one match. You have the week off. Um, obviously not the week off, but no games. Just the one game this coming weekend against Central Connecticut State. Pick to finish first in the NEC in the preseason poll. Um, the Blue Devils under 500 overall this season, but tied with you guys this season. Conference play 1-1. Give us a little uh, what to expect, a little scouting report of the Blue Devils this weekend. Well, they're always talented. They always uh, compete hard. And uh, they're at home, and uh, it will be a challenging game. Um, you know, we expect that it will be a typical NEC battle, um, and and we need to bring our A game. We need to compete hard. We need to compete in a consistent manner, and we need to defend in in a more determined, cohesive manner. Well, thank you, Coach. Best of luck this weekend. Um, and also Tuesday, you travel to Lehigh, the last out-of-conference game of the schedule. Uh, obviously a game in which you can work out some things. You know, Are you looking forward to that game to as sort of a practice game, or are you going to give more minutes to bench players, or are you trying to work out tactics more or less? It's hard to say. We'll just have to see how the Central Connecticut game goes, and then we'll make decisions from there. Absolutely. Okay. Thank you again for another edition of the Men's Soccer Report. Uh, in a minute, we will have Godfrey Boffy on the Soccer Report. And as always, check out the highlights of uh, the Robert Morris and St. Francis matches on FDUnites.com. And if they're not on the main page, go to the Men's Soccer section as well. Thank you for joining us this, me this week on the Men's Soccer Report. And stay tuned for Godfrey Boffy. <laughs>All right, welcome back to the Men's Soccer Report. I'm standing here with senior co-captain Godfrey Boffy, and let's just jump into it. Uh, score, what a way to score your first goal of the season. Uh, this was the goal that took the lead on Sunday afternoon against Robert Morris in the eventual 3-2 victory. Um, just run us through this goal. It was a 25-yard just thunderbolt into the left upper left 90. Run us through this play. Well, uh, um, I like to get up and help out in attack. You know, lately I've been playing defensive mid, so it's been a little bit difficult in helping out in that attacking third. But once in a while, I try to take the risk and go forward. And at that time, it was the right decision. I went forward, took a touch, and just shot a bullet. Now, um, what is your preferred midfield position? I know you said you were mostly playing center defensive mid. Is that out of necessity right now, or do you prefer to play defense more defensively? Um, it doesn't really matter where coach put me. I'll just go out there and give it 100% every day. But... Uh, Preferably, I would like to play left mid because that's what I'm very comfortable at because I could help a lot in attacking third, create assists, create you know, a couple of scoring opportunities for the team. So that's my spot that I'd like to play. All right, excellent. Um, okay, now this was a big three points. The, the team struggled out of conference um, with a very tough out of conference slate. But starting the conference schedule with a 1-1 with a record, three points, big three points against Robert Morris, what does that do for your confidence, the momentum for this team going into conference play? Because this is what matters in, this, in, this, in the season is what you do in conference. Right. Conference is everything. So every game you go in there looking to come out with three points. It's very important that we get a good, you know, good results in conference games. And it was very – it was crucial in terms of our confidence and going away 
that we get this result on Sunday because now we're actually kind of tied for a second spot now. Mm -hmm. And there's not in conference, there's not many games left. So there's about five games left. So it was important that we come out with something. And the next conference game is a tough one. It's on the road against the preseason favorites to win the uh, NEC Central Connecticut State. So can you give us a little insight into what you guys are expecting from the Blue Devils this weekend? Um, we're expecting a you know, typical conference game. Not a lot of goals going to be scored, but um, they're a very good side, and we're a good side also. We're looking to play better and just keep our foot on the pedal and keep the momentum going. All right, best of luck this weekend, and uh, thank you for joining me this weekend on the Men's Soccer Report. Thank you. My pleasure. All right, and uh, for Seth Rowland and for Godfrey yeah. Baffi, that'll do it on the Men's Soccer Report. Go to FDNights.com, as always, for all your up-to-date information on men's soccer. And at NEC Front, we'll have that game on Sunday against the Blue Devils. Check it out.